All right, how's everyone doing? I'm Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel or my page. So what I wanna get into today is actually kind of learning how to travel and work out at the same time. Um, I'm actually at a gold gym in Oklahoma City. So I travel all over the country and a lot of times to go to the LA Fitness where I'm a member of. I used to be a member also of 24 Hour Fitness. Uh, since LA Fitness has blown up, I just basically stick with them. But in the old days, I used to always be a member of World's and Gold Gym. I used to be a member of two gyms because no matter where I went, I can usually find a gym. No longer is there worlds that I know for that matter, but there are some Gold Gyms, so I still go here. But what I want to get into today is regarding uh, how to really travel and make things easy when you're traveling when working out. So I realize with a lot of my colleagues or a lot of people uh, that I know that work out, they always ask me, how do you find time to work out when you're traveling? Or, you know, find the right gyms, let's say, for instance. But here's the thing, truthfully. A lot of people when they travel, you're just lazy. I'm gonna call you out on it. A lot of them like to go out of town. Uh, they don't like to schedule in their workouts or they like to use what I call the hotel gym, which is a lot of times really shitty. Obviously, all you really have is elliptical, bicycle, treadmill, and you may have dumbbells up to 50 pounds. But if I'm, I travel sometimes hundreds of days a year, if I just depended on a hotel gym, there's no way I would get the right type of workout that I would want as far as a bodybuilding or building you know, strength type workouts, cardio, anything, swimming, um, I need a real workout. So uh, I also realized actually when I, when I traveled how prepared I was and how unprepared other people are and I think they do that on purpose because again, they're lazy. And also when they travel, a lot of them just want to get caught up with their colleagues. Uh, they have more time a lot of times than even when they're at home. You don't usually a lot of times have to pick up, drop off your kids, right? You don't have to mow the lawn. You don't have all these other things that you normally would be doing if you're at home. When you work and travel a lot of times, when your day's over, it's over. But most people just want to run to a bar sit and bullshit and drink or run to a restaurant, sit there for hours or go to the mall, whatever it is. But here's things to make it real simple. I'm gonna tell you right now. I've shown my friends this and they're kinda of like, they don't understand how simple it is, but they just, uh, they get confused. But the bottom line is you most likely, if you work out, you have a bag that you take to the gym. It's gonna have your workout clothes, your gym shoes, right? You're gonna have your lock inside there. If you use wraps, it's gonna have wraps. Uh, your sandals, hopefully for the shower, all these type of things, all your amenities when you go to a gym, you're probably prepared at home, right? Why wouldn't you bring that on the road with you? It's kind of common sense. So when I travel, I have my luggage and then I just bring my workout bag. But in my workout bag, I have everything ready to go, right? Just like I told you, everything I needed. When I land at an airport a lot of times because I may be traveling for long periods of times in a plane, I usually immediately go to the gym. Uh, I don't like to go to the hotel because when I go to the hotel, it actually makes me tired. Then I'm looking at a bed, I'm like, should I work out, should I not, should I eat first? So basically when I land, I like to go to a gym immediately. I need blood flow. All I usually do is open up my suitcase with all my other clothing, lift my gym bag, and I walk right into the gym that I find that I wanna work out at, right? It's that simple. I also bring a towel. Obviously, you wanna always bring a towel when you travel. And then when I go to a hotel, I replenish the towel with one towel with another, obviously. I go in there, I swipe towels out, so I always have a fresh towel. That's another thing I realize what a lot of people do travel. They do maybe bring some workout clothes, right? So you're kind of prepared. You have your gym shoes, your clothes, but you forgot a lock or you don't have uh, a towel. You'll come up with whatever excuse why you can't go in the gym or you'll start putting it in a plastic bag. You'll get to a hotel and be like, oh, I got to work out. Uh, you know, where am I going to put my clothes that are uh, going to get sweaty? Whatever these things may be, that's easily, you know, you can prevent all that. Just bring a plastic bag when you travel, stick your dirty clothes in there and stick them in your suitcase. It's that simple. All right. And here's the thing too, I realize when people travel, uh, is they don't like to spend money in gyms. Why, I have no idea. They'll go spend tons of money again on many other things, smoking, drinking, picking up clothes, uh, picking out clothes, doing all these different things. And uh, a lot of times a gym isn't as much money as you think it is. So this gym, for instance, in Oklahoma City, a gold gym, it's a pretty good gym. They charge me 16 bucks. But the thing is they give you 24 hours usually. If they don't offer that, ask them, most likely they will. So basically for $8 a day, I got a really good gym. Uh, a lot of gyms may be $20, some are 10. But here's some things you could do also to save some money when traveling, trying to find a gym. You can go online. A lot of times, gyms will have three-day specials where you just join up. That's it, it's three-day pass. Or you can go in and say, hey, uh, can I try it for the day? It's worth the shot. They're like, no, you gotta pay a one-time fee. If you wanna even bullshit them and say, hey, I'm thinking of moving here, uh, can I try at your gym? Most likely, they're gonna say yes, truthfully. They're not gonna turn down the business. You may have to take a tour around the gym with them, but there are ways of actually finagling it. And if you can't afford 20 bucks or say 16, say, hey guys, I can't afford that. Would you do 10 bucks? Would you do eight bucks? Uh, you can even call them on the phone. A lot of them will cut a deal for you. So using the excuse that you can't afford to go to a real gym is kind of really ridiculous, again. So um, these are just things that um, I learned over the years regarding 
uh, the gym situation. And also just go online. If you talk to your phone, you just say gyms nearby, it's gonna give you a list of a bunch of different gyms, right? And if you can't afford any of those things, you might wanna try YMCA's. I don't mind YMCA's at all in a pinch, but if you go to a YMCA, a lot of times they will work out a deal with you. It's usually no more than 10 bucks. Sometimes they even do it for free. Uh, I tell them my daughters are members, which they are, and a lot of times they'll look their names up and go, yeah, just go ahead. So uh, that's another avenue you can take. So quit being lazy, get to the gym, stop coming with, coming up with excuses uh, why you can't get to the gym and kind of just prepare to go to a gym. Again, when you travel, I'm excessive, but if you're gonna be on the road for three, four, five days, try to get at least one or two good workouts in. And I'm not talking a hotel workout where you go down there for a half an hour and you walk on a treadmill or you do just some quick, uh, you know, 15 minute type of workout. That's really not a real workout in my eyes. But in a pinch, I get sometimes we do have to go inside a hotel. You don't have times to work on. So you do have to utilize that. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. So uh, I'm gonna always be posting things regarding uh, how to travel affordably, unique things that I do to save me, uh, a lot, save myself a lot of time uh, and aggravation. I'm also gonna be posting things on how uh, to find unique places as in restaurants, hotels, malls, coffee shops, bars, did I say restaurants, all these type of things, along with uh, fitness, fashion, and hygiene advice as well. And if you get a chance, check out my podcast, which is the Lindsay Show. Uh, WTF are you talking about? Uh, I'm also going to be posting videos on uh, different types of workouts in the future. I have some mastering self-confidence programs we're developing. Uh, one is to pick up the woman of your dreams or find the woman of your dreams or women of your dreams. And the other is going to be fitness orientated as well. All right. So try to subscribe to my channel and I wish you nothing but the best. Safe travels and get to the gym regardless if it's this. I don't care if it's jujitsu. I don't care what you do. Get your ass to a gym. Find a gym. Go through a new experience. That's the one thing I should have mentioned more than anything. Going to a new gym also, like to me, it's like going to a new restaurant or going to a new city or a new country for that matter. It's just a new experience. There's usually different equipment, uh, different types of people. And uh, some have steam rooms, some don't. Some have saunas, some don't. Uh, some have both. Some have all different things. So it's really unique to go in there and experience it. It's worth the money in my, in my opinion. So, all right. Take care and I wish you nothing but the best again and safe travels.